what we'll do is that we'll first go to uh, Yahoo Finance it is the source of our data so if you go to our Yahoo Finance just uh, type in Bitcoin and you can go to Bitcoin space and as you see here today's uh, price is 52,000 US dollar right 52,000 to, to 90 so there is an increase of about 3600 in just about uh, 24 hours right so massive increase in the last few days especially after tesla uh, bought in about uh, 1.5 billion worth of bitcoin and after that uh, we see um, a huge uh, increase in the price of the bitcoin all right so i'm sure you can you already know about uh, the news uh, all the news items about Bitcoin so I'm not going to spend more time on that so what we'll do is that we will download the data set uh, for uh, Bitcoin um, and in Yahoo Finance if you see you have data for one day for five day for one month so if you change this duration you will see a different plot Right. You also have long term data, for example, you, have, you can also get data for five years, right? So you will get to know a, f a longer view of the uh, price movement. So that's uh, also possible, right? So if you just click on it, uh, it will take to uh, a much bigger plot where you can see actually the movement of the uh, Bitcoin and you can keep you can also change uh, the duration you can you know plot this for one month duration for three months for past six months for past one year two years even five years so what we'll do is that we'll download five years of data five years of uh, bitcoins data and explore that uh, using some sort of uh, data science techniques basic uh, data analysis techniques um, we'll use Python to explore the price movement. We'll also use some sort of a time series analysis to analyze some of the nuances of the price movement for Bitcoin. All right. So uh, in order to download the the data, right? You you know it's it's pretty simple actually. If you go to um, yeah, you just go back and you have historical data there. Um, you can download. For example, you go to historical data. And then it will give you an option to download. I have already downloaded. Uh, when you download, uh, you get it in CSV format, and you can easily import that to your Python session. So I have already downloaded that. I have downloaded um, 